Hi guys, it's me again, Janera V, your physical therapist, YouTuber, and yeah, I have this another video para i-discuss ko lang yung mga requirements kasi a lot were asking ko, paano po ba ma'am, eto bakit ganito, ano po ilalagay ko dito, ano po dapat ba dito, so i-discuss ko kung ano yung mga gagawin yun, paano kayo mag-navigate sa website and register and apply. So by the way, batch 52 will be up until January 6. So keep posted sa Facebook na Hello Rish para malaman nyo kung may mga extension ba or what. So dapat active rin kayo sa email nyo para malaman nyo kung for interview ba kayo or for examination, okay? So let's get it on! So let's now start. So ulitin ko lang. www.hellorish.com So as you can see here, official to ni Hello Rish na website. So meron ditong get started now. Huwag ka dito ha kasi para to sa mga clients natin. So, dito tayo sa apply button as mentioned ko sa last video ko. So, let's check here. So, ayan. Apply to work with us at Hello Rish. So, are you ready to become a certified HPA? By the way, as you can see, my ano dito are trademark na ni Hello Rish yung HPA. So, so, the only company that can legally use HVA. So, this is a US-based company. We train medical professionals based in the Philippines. So, we will be working directly with our clients to virtually help them with their medical office needs. So, later, we discuss ko. Punta muna tayo dun sa baba. Ito. Dito sa pinakababa, makikita niya yung application requirements and hardware software requirements so you can read along this but let's go down here di discuss ko rin to mamaya so interested in working with LRH? syempre apply now na so eto lalabas siya sa ibang tab so let's discuss about the overview so again we are a US based company seeking medical trained staff based in the Philippines and you will be directly working with doctors and other medical professionals based in the USA. So, hindi lang again sa USA, meron din clients sa Australia and UK. So, we help our clients improve workflow, save time, and remove burden of in-room documentation. So, as you know, America is really like full of documentation. So, tayo yung second-hand ng doctors. So, meron rin ng mga back office and admin tasks. So, you will have the following responsibilities, live virtual scribing. So, kung ano yung sinasabi ng doctor during like face-to-face -face encounter sa client, itatype down mo siya. So, yan yung live virtual scribing. So, kunyari, may specialty yung doctor mo. Let's say, for example, yung sa friend ko, ano siya, yung doctor niya is gastro. So, paulit-ulit lang kung ano yung mga gastro cases na common on that area, then describing it. Madali lang. Sa first lang siya mahirap. Yeah. So, attend to patient communications and interaction. So, mostly dito phone and email. Though, may mga video sa mga telehealth. But, ito yung common. Don't worry. It will be easy. And respond to inquiries about healthcare services or tasks. Still, there will be phone interaction. So, gather medical or insurance information. Yes, yung na-mention ko na prior authorization. Manage appointment calendars for scheduling. Update patient chart records. Diba? <laughs> Research helpful information. Handle administrative tasks or back office in a medical setting. So, ito yung gusto ng aramihan sa amin. Sa, sa batch namin. Kasi, May back office, walang phone calls, walang masyadong ganun. So, mga faxing sila, file management or transcription. So, okay rin. Parehas lang naman kasi sweldo. So, for the requirements, you will be successful in this role if you have this following qualifications. So, you must be a graduate of any allied health profession. You can speak and write well in English. Proficient with medical technologies and practices. So, for medical technologies, you can actually find it on Google. You can just look for reliable websites on where you can make use out of it. 
and you can connect with variety of people so you must be good in building rapport so you must also have a good attention to details especially in written reports and you must be of course comfortable with virtual technologies and some actually medyo napag-iwanan ng teknolohiya pero they're very quick in like they're very quick in learning so if you're not that good you can actually take notes and ulit ulit lang yan repetition so it will be easy along the way so internet speed must be at least 10 mbps download and at least 3 mbps upload so at least yan ha so the bet the higher the better yung mbps download mo. so you must have a reliable computer hardware and software it will be verified sa tech team namin and you must have a webcam and headset important ito, especially during the training kasi yeah you will be trained so expect mo na lahat ng mga tasks will be thrown to you and be prepared as well the requirements po pala let me check here for the hardware and software requirements meron silang minimum tsaka recommended kung meron kayo nitong windows 10 or pro dapat genuine it will be better but if macintosh kayo just make sure na mabilis yung laptop nyo so here, makita mo yun sa MacBook kung anong CPU mo. So here is the minimum Intel Core i3, at least 6th gen or similar. I think sa, dito, sa Radeon, it's 3, Radeon 3. Sa ginagamit ko ngayon is Radeon 5. So I bought a desktop Windows kasi yung EMR ng company na I am working with needs windows so I had to let go my Macintosh that's yeah depende naman yan kung magpupush through kayo sa client na yun eh gusto ko yung client na yun so I bought one <laughs> and memory at least 6 GB RAM yung sa akin naman sa Macintosh it was just 4 GB RAM pero yung CPU niya i3 so parang nabawi lang so this is just for minimum Pero dito sa recommended, it's 8GB RAM. I am now using 16GB RAM. So, pwede nyo yan mabili online kung malayo kayo dito sa Manila. But if you're just here, you can go to Gilmore. Marami doon. No worries. And, yeah. For the internet subscription speed, I already showed it to you. At least 10 Mbps. Hindi pwede yung LTE connection, yung data. Dapat naka DSL or fiber kayo. Kasi syempre, syempre mag-training tayo. Mas okay talaga yung maganda yung connection nyo. Tuloy-tuloy yung training, tuloy-tuloy yung work mo eventually. So, ganun. Dapat mabilis. So, at least 10 Mbps. Kung mababa, well, it's time to upgrade. And, yeah. Recommended is Core i5 or above. So, siguro si i5 is Radeon 5. And, Recommended is 20 Mbps. Again, LTE connection is not accepted. It will be checked, so di mo siya malolo. So for the peripherals needed, a lot were asking about this. Kung ano yung magandang headset. So it must of course have a mic. So recommended dito is Plantronics Audio 628 Stereo USB headset. So let's look for it sa Shopee. Shopee or Lazada. So it's expensive. It's around 2 3, but it will be a good investment. Kung may budget ka, go buy for it. But if wala, then you can just look for a cheap one. Then along the way, just invest. Apende yan kung may mga phone calls kayo. Kung wala naman, then the old one will do. And for the webcam here, it must be a HD 720 or 1080p. So, merong recommended dito. Logitech HD Pro Webcam C920. So, sometimes, kapag nag-zoom kami sa mga 
co-workers ko, ginagamit ko is my iPhone. So, I have this app na Epicam. Wait, let me check. Ah, I have this app na Ep Epicam. So, connected yung iPhone ko to the computer. May install lang ako na software dito. Tsaka, pwede ko siyang gamitin as my webcam kasi wala pa akong webcam that time na nag-Windows ako. Pero nung Macintosh ko, meron kasi built-in sa laptop. So, that will do. Kasi maganda lang yung lighting mo. Okay na okay na yun. Kahit low quality yan, pero maganda yung lighting mo. Tsaka, white yung background mo. Neutral yung background mo. Dapat, bawal yung green screen. Then, you're good to go. So, kung wala naman kayong white na background, then, pwede kayong bumili ng kartolina or, let's say, tela. So, ayun. Pwede yan. Depende yan kung gano'n kayo ka-resourceful. But for the camera, maraming mura sa internet. So, just look for the best one. But, kung final na talaga kayo, tsaka sure, sure na maliwanag na yung application nyo, then you can invest on this peripherals. Yeah. So, able to work at night. So, ito yung training hours namin. 11 p.m. to 8 a.m. So, that is Arizona time. Kasi again, the clinic there that is owned by Dr. Carnet is in Arizona. So, yun yung sinusunod natin. So, as you can see here, emphasized yung RN with experience in working with U.S. health insurance. So, it is a plus. It is not a must, but it is a plus. So, kung may U.S. health insurance ka na experience, kahit hindi ka RN, so it would be better. And RN with hospital experience is also a plus. So, no worries sa mga PTs dyan, sa mga pharmacists, mga RATEX, mga RESPI, sa mga OT, sa mga psychometricians, sa mga biology graduates, no worries sa mga medtechs, merong mga nakalaan na tasks for you. So, no worries with that. It's just that, mas okay yung may hospital experience. Kasi syempre, kung ako yung client, piliin ko yung may experience dito na area. Kasi yan yung area ko. So, depende naman yan kung gaano rin kayo kagaling along the training. Syempre, mauuna kayo ma-indoor. So, dapat hataw talaga. So, for the benefits, competitive pay rates. I already mentioned this. So, 6.5 hours per week. 30 to 40 hours. Meron sumusobra dyan. So, for me, 40 hours per week. That is roughly 50 to 52K. Depende sa US dollar exchange. I'm not bragging. I'm just inspiring you guys. So, there will be free training and certification. So, you will be provided by Hello Rish. May matatanggap ka. And other than that, along the training, you have to have a HIPAA certificate. So, you will be given for free again. So, grab this. Do your best talaga. So that you can have it. Kasi kung pagpupuyatan mo yan, sagad mo na. So, work from home. This is the perks of work from home, guys. Kung may family kayo, kung may malilit pa kayong mga children, then you will get to have a family time. More than like, magpo-commute ka. Tanggalan yung oras mo sa commute. Work ka. Malayo ka sa kanila. Tapos commute ka ulit. So, ubos na lahat yung time mo. So, sa commute pa lang, ilaan mo na lang yan sa sleep mo or sa family mo, then, ma-enjoy mo. So, ganun yung perks ng work from home. Tsaka, abriktad pa yung time zone. So, yung extra time sa umaga, pwede mo siyang ilakad kung may mga mga agenda ka sa labas. So, okay rin siya. So, long-term work relationship. This is true because yung mga Americans, mahilig sila sa long-term na mga trabahante. Hindi sila yung parang naiintay sa iba na, ay, mas magaling to. Tagal ka na. Hindi sila ganun eh. Parang they really value yung mga trabahante nila. Ganun sila guys. Magbabait sila, I swear. Especially yung mga professionals. So, US-based clients, I already mentioned this, and this one passionate community they're really passionate guys I tell you na naka experience ako ng bullying sa batch namin but they didn't leave me, wala akong sinabi sa kanila sila na lang bigla yung nag, nag approach ng problem and they handled it professionally so saan ba ako hahanap ng ganitong company na kahit wala kang ginawa 
nandun sila para i-protect ka. Mga ganong bagay, hindi mo yun makahanap sa iba. It's not that yung iba is very toxic, hindi mo na siya kakayanan. Siyempre, gusto mo rin yung work na walang toxicity. Uh, diba? Ganon. And, so, click mo lang itong apply for this job. And, you get to see, ito, um, pwede mo import ito yung resume nyo. Guys, I suggest that you upload a resume na PDF form. Huwag yung word pa ha. Kasi, pwede rin yung basis na hindi ka matanggap. Tsaka, yung resume nyo, huwag nyo ilagay na resume underscore final. So, dapat yung pangalan nyo yung ano, title ng resume. Ano lang, little suggestion. Probably, I will be making a another video para dito sa resume. I'm not that really good sa resume, but I can share kung paano yung maganda tsaka medyo modern na na resume. So, just input everything here. So, for the photo, may nagtanong na to, upload mo lang yung pinakamaganda mong formal photo na nakakolor kayo, tsaka white yung background para okay siya. Parang kubay to nyo lang. So, you must have like that yung magandang lighting. Huwag yung sa buraka in okay? And this one, just input everything. Summary na experience nyo, ano yung ginagawa nyo. Mas okay kung chika nyo talaga, very detailed. And uh, the resume. For the cover letter, if hindi kayo familiar kung paano gumaman ng cover letter, search nyo lang sa Google guys. Marami mga samples dun. Huwag nyo naman totally gayahin. Basta, gawa, hanap lang kayo ng mga inspiration dyan. Tsaka, syempre, dapat baguhin nyo kasi hindi mo naman ikakopy yun. Just make sure na heartfelt yung cover letter. So, Skype ID. Gawa kayo ng magandang Skype ID. Huwag yung Genera underscore sexy one two three four. Gawa kayo ng formal. Like, Genera dot Vilya. Facebook profile link. Yes. Lalagyan mo siya. So, are you located in the Philippines? Be honest, guys, kung saan kayo. Kasi yung tinatanggap dito na na mga HVAs is residents ng Philippines. So, you must be here because that is the very reason na yung target ni Hello Rich is mga Filipinos. Kasi, yeah, aside from, from compassionate tayo, guys, yung reason is to help us mga health professionals dito na kaahon rin sa buhay. So, yung target nila lahat nasa resident ng Philippines. So, yung iba nagtatanong, ay ma'am, andito ako sa Jeddah, andito ako sa Oman. Sorry po, pagdating nyo nalang siguro dito, pag uwi nyo, then you can join Halorish. Kahit during the training, they're very strict to it. So, input mo lang kung saan ka sa Philippines. Uh, this one, what are your skills? So, yung skills na ilalagay nyo dito dapat, relevant trend sa ina-applyan nyo. Say, for example, kung may skills kayo, maganda kayo yung communication skills nyo, lagay nyo dito. Kung may skills kayo sa, let's say, for example, social media, parang virtually related siya. Pwede nyo ilagay dito, like social media management, mga perfect designing. Todo mo na paglagay dito lahat ng magagandang skills mo. Para, syempre, the more, the better. So, wag naman yung gawa-gawa ka lang. Dapat yung legit talaga na skills mo. So, kung may... Please state any other foreign language ability. So, to those na may other language na alam, kahit ano lang, minimal lang na Spanish, pwede nyo siya ilagay dyan. Pero, mas okay yung meron kang alam na ibang language. Para... Siyempre, may mga preference yung mga clients. So, kunyari, marunong ka mag-Spanish. O, oh, ito. Kunin ba ito? Ikaw yung endorse. So, for what reasons have you missed to work in a previous job? Ayun, kung ano yung mga reasons kung bakit kayo hindi nakapagpasok. Let's say, for example, maternity leave. Mga lang. So, our trainings are Monday through Friday night shifts. Will you be able to attend this? Kung yes, go ahead. So, do you have any existing health condition? Well, mention it. Do you have any other commitments that may affect you attend or training eventually and eventually work? So, like, do you have any travel plans within this year? Again, you join. Be honest lang. 
Do you have any pending visa applications? Again, you lang dyan. Just be honest. So, for the NBI clearance, ito dito, ilagay nyo yung NBI nyo kung meron kayong valid pa na NBI. But if wala, pwede kayo mag-apply online. Just screenshot the NBI application. They will accept that kung ongoing pa yung process. So, for diplomas, scan it. You can use a scanner sa phone nyo. And kung may certifications kayo, much better. Kung may iba dito na mga may experience sa VAs, kung may certificates kayo, then you can upload it here. Kung may certificate kayo sa certain specialization, well, you can upload it there as well. So, government ID, just put your PRC if you have driver's license or passport. I will do. So, upload a one-minute intro briefly describing yourself to a Google Drive folder. Paste the link below to the folder and please make sure that the setting of the folder is in public. So, public dapat guys, hindi yung para mag-request request ka pa kasi sa Google Drive to. So, dapat so, dapat naka-public siya. So, i-share mo lang dito yung link sa box. So, please run an internet test. So, visit ka lang dito sa... Let's check. Okay, visit tayo. Speedtest.com Try natin yung speed test na. Sa Globe Fiber. Check it. Ayan. So, it's currently... 3 a.m. at that. Yeah, 3 a.m. Yung binabayaran ko is 25 Mbps. So, download ko is 28.17. And for the upload, diba yung requirements ito is 3 Mbps. So, mataas. Mataas yung sa glow. Let's wait for it. So, 19.4 so, paano ko siya ilalagay dito? So, let's get the results. Share. You get this. You press this link. You press this button. So, copy this one. The web. And, you share it here. Okay. Ganyan maglagay ng speed test. So, for the typing, cat, copy this one. Then, paste it. Ayan. So, magta-type lang kayo. Kita nyo yung minimum. Recommended is 50 WPM. Again, it's recommended. Hindi siya a must. So, kung yung nakuha nyo is 40, then kunin nyo. So, magta-type lang ako. Let's try if okay pa ba ako. So, maganda dito sa typing kasi may sounds. So, masapit may nakuha. But, I'm using my AirPods. So, my AirPods. Okay naman. So, So, as you can see, yung typing speed ko dito is 53 WPM. So, how can I share it? Kunin ko lang tong link dito. And then, share ko dito. Ganun lang. So, meron ng link. Kung gusto nyo, mag-login kayo sa Google, then you can. But this one will do. So, just make sure na mag-login kayo para ma malaman talaga kung sa inyo ba yan. But this is how I did it before. But, yeah, it would be better kung mag-login kayo via Google. So, how did you hear about that? So, if you've seen this video, you can input my name here. Sure. I would love it. <laughs> so, yeah, submit lang. Das maghintay lang kayo ng Notification na mag exam na kayo for the examination. It will be an SOAP documentation. Just make sure you won't be late there. Just make sure na install na kayo ng Zoom. And after that, you will be receiving an email after after how many hours. 
then you're good for an interview. So, uh, suggestion ko during the interview, just be yourself. Just prepare all the necessary things that na nire-require nila. Then, you're good. Start ka na ng training. Huwag lang kayong mabagot during the waiting time kasi nabagot ako. <laughs> So, yun lang yung suggestion ko kasi mag-iisip kayo, ay, tanggap pa ako, paano to, ganyan-ganyan. So, no worries. Just pray and believe in yourself.